is Diane Steinbot, and here are some examples of the space and depth pages that you will be doing. Uh, space and depth. We're going to be dealing with overlapping objects, overlapping shapes. Objects that are furthest from the observer will be higher on the picture plane. Converging lines. Objects will be smaller as they get further away. Objects in the foreground will have sharp focus. In the background will be blurry. Objects in the foreground will be brighter and richer in color. And objects in the background will be duller. And your job is to provide illustrations for each one of these concepts to demonstrate your comprehension of each. Therefore, you have to have six illustrations all together, each clearly focusing on one of the concepts. This is Megan Burke from, like, I don't know, forever ago. I really liked this one. She worked so hard on her number one, overlapping shapes. She has the fence overlapping the trees, and the trees overlapping the building, and the building overlapping itself, and the building overlapping the hills. So that one clearly shows overlapping. Here we have objects are higher on the picture plane. So she's got, she kind of wore herself out on that one. Can you tell? She did all that detail, and now she's kind of like just two little sticky trees. Um, but. She's got trees that are close, trees that are medium distance, and trees that are far away, going up higher. This is a page that I worked on, and we have the converging lines. It does not have to be straight lines, it can be curvy lines. So I've got my highway in the desert, and then I also have things that are lower or closer, and things that are higher or farther away. Number four is objects are smaller as they get farther away. It really works well if you use similar objects so that when they get smaller we can see that it's going farther away. Therefore I used a tree, really big, so big it goes off the top of that picture, and then the medium and the small. Um, close has more detail and far has less detail, so I did some silly flowers with more detail up front, less detail farther away. And you don't have to do all of these in the portrait format. You can do landscape format. So I have one of the trout and used colored pencil. You'll have to use colored pencil for this or something that can get you uh, brighter, richer colors and duller, grayer colors. So uh, my trout has more trouty colors up front and then the ones that are further away are a little more bluer and grayer and duller. You can see if I can zoom in on that slowly so you don't get seasick oh okay actually i should probably do all of them huh well now that i've got it up here you're seeing them all backwards in order okay so that's your job and you have learned a lot about drawing so i'm expecting to see that you can do um, organic and freeform and geometric shapes and texture and shading along with showing me space and depth.